I waited seven and a half years for this moment because from day one, I knew. It's you. It's always been you. I'm always looking for that light in the shadow. Always been wandering through darkness. I'm always listening for a sound to follow. Waiting for something to be. Together with you, we are indestructible. You have made me realize that I alone am strong, but together with you, we are stronger. You have made me realize that I don't want to live in a world that you are not in, and I thank God every day that I don't have to. You're the first person I want to talk to when something good happens, the first shoulder I want to cry on when things don't turn out as expected. The first voice I want to hear when I need to be comforted and the first space that I want to see when I wake up each morning. We were back on campus early for mock trial practice and you just gotten back from studying abroad in Dublin. I introduced myself to you, you introduced yourself to me, but introductions felt strangely yet wonderfully unnecessary. It was the first and only time in my life that I introduced myself to someone who already felt like my best friend. I like to say that we never met and I truthfully don't know if we ever did, because our first moment together felt nothing like an introduction and everything like a reconnection.
I would like to say, I know all of you joined me in wishing them happiness and success. They're going to get that. They've got the work ethic. They've got everything going for them. The love between them, everything. So I'd just like to leave you with this thought. When you've been married as long as Rhonda and I, I hope you can still look at each other in the eye and say, if I had a thousand lifetimes, I'd want to spend them all with you. To Maggie and Hunter. Maggie, I love you so much. And I'm so glad you have found someone who values your courage, your intelligence, and your grace. Hunter, thank you so much for loving this person who has been a little sister to me. You are both so lucky to have one another, and I'm so excited to see the life you build together. Now let's please raise a glass to Maggie and Hunter. May all your wildest dreams come true. Slancha. Here we are, finally. Longest 14 months of any of our lives. But Maggie and Hunter are still together, so none of us missed anything important. <laughs> Maggie, yesterday you were my shadow. Okay, maybe that was 25 years ago. <laughs> Everything I taught you, I did wrong. Anyway, <laughs> like how I to told you how to put your hair in a ponytail, but not brush it first. So you survived messy buns, and they were the hot fashion item for the past year. <laughs> You were ahead of your time because of me. <laughs> uh, it's been an honor to watch you grow up to see who you've become. Cousins by blood and sisters for life. Oh, and Hunter, <laughs> you thought you were going to get out of this, didn't you? Thank God you're an Eagle Scout, so you are overly prepared for whatever Maggie throws at you. Literally. <laughs> And you probably won't get lost on your many hikes. I hope one day Maggie lets you go after your real dream of being on the Penn and Teller show, making your magical debut. <laughs> <laughs> like Yin and Yang, you complete each other. And we are so happy you found each other in all this crazy. And now you have a partner in crime for life. And that brings me to my main point here. Marriage represents one of the most important fundamental choices that people can make. Despite all the uncertainty in life and all the curveballs that life might throw to you, marriage is the one opportunity you have to make a lifelong choice that will stand through it all. The person that you get to spend the rest of your life with. And I think it's important to note too that the choosing of marriage doesn't just happen all at once up front when you propose on the Washington Wall. It doesn't just happen on some rooftop where you actually say, I do. It is something you do day in and day out every day with your deeds, with how you live your life, with how you actively choose your partner over and over again. And if anybody knows Hunter and Maggie, you know that that kind of love, the active choosing kind of love, is the only kind of love that Hunter and Maggie know how to do. And that is why they're going to be such a wonderful married couple.